Welcome everyone to the What It Is Podcast, episode 15. I'm Rex a Million, and as always, I'm here with T and Cass. How are y'all feeling today? Feeling good. Good, good. I'm feel- feeling pretty good, pretty good. Uh, just got back in town from Texas, visiting family and stuff. Okay. Uh, it was pretty cool. Ate like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything it's big, some, bigger in Texas, right? Yo, it's some good restaurant. Oh God, I ate I ate at this donut place called Parlor Donuts, mm-hmm. and it's like it was like Chris, they're like the Chris um, Cronuts, like the yeah. croissant donuts. I've seen those, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever had them. It was all it was all flaky and had mm. like I got like ma- got like a maple pecan one. <laughs> Damn. That sound good. That sounds real good. So good. So good. And it's not, it wasn't like, su- it wasn't stupid sweet. Right. Right. So it was like just right. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, I can't, like, I, I like, I love donuts, but I feel like the commercial places, especially Krispy Kreme, they're just way too sweet. This is for Krispy me. Krispy Kreme is extremely sweet. I extremely. can't. Extremely. Everything. I, I'm not, I don't. Everybody is on that Krispy Kreme wave. I'm, I've never been on that wave. My son, were, I love it. Okay. I love it. That was my son's first job, and he used to bring donuts home all the time. And like, I was actually excited for like, I think it was like the Reese's donut or something. But it's like, it came, you know, it finally came, and I tasted it, and it's just, it was just too sweet, just too much, mm. you know. Um, well. Y'all gonna try out those those uh, cloudy donuts? I was telling y'all about. <laughs> Which ones? What are they? Cloudy. Cloudy Donuts. Cloudy. Or it's on Harford Road. Oh, it's a it's a pla- it's the name of the place. Yeah, they're vegan okay. donuts, but you can I mean, psh, delicious. Um, uh, Harford delicious. and what? Like what uh, now? Because my um, I don't know what it's. I can't really place what it's. It's like a little. It's like on a Harford Road where there's like homes. There's little little shops. It's oh, like, ho- homes yeah. and shops. I yeah. know exactly where that's at. Homes and shops on Hartford Road. Yep. And if you go further down, you'll get this deep. You know, yeah. You yeah. Don't yeah. Really know. But I, you know, we can't do that on on while we're recording. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna reach your it's hand like, through the screen and just. <laughs> I can't. Think. It's like by a grocery store, like down okay. the grocery store. I can't think of. Is it closer to the city or the county area? Like we're like in between. I guess in between because you got to go past. Um, it's not far from like Morgan. Okay. Okay. And if you go further okay. down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I have an I, idea. I, I know what she. I know what she's talking about now. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know that area. I'm gonna look it up. Um, yeah. I already say we have phones. Yeah. I'm gonna right. look it up. You have me about homes and shops, right? <laughs> and you can put it right. <laughs> put trees. It right your GPS. Trees and fire hydrants. <laughs> 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 oh man. But they are good. Yes. I'm giving them a plug. You ever had um Hold on, uh, how do you interrupt my plug though? What's that? How do you interrupt oh, my what's plug? the name of it? Oh, you said Cloud Donuts? Cloudy. They're called Cloudy Donuts. They oh, are okay. black owned. Cloudy. It's a black owned establishment. Oh, okay. And they oh. are vegan okay. donuts. Nice. Delicious. Nice. Okay, go ahead, Rex. All right. Oh, I was gonna say fracture I would, I would... Hmm? I was just gonna say fra- <laughs> fracture fracture not... That's all. Not, 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 uh, not impressed. I mean, I, it's been what so long. It? Fractured prune. Oh yeah. They were just okay to me. But you could customize. Yeah, not had like a, I think the thing about them that it was, that you could get a lot of different str- obscure but flavors. But you can get that, you can get that, those flavors like that at other places too. You can get them That's from That's what Cloudy. I'm trying to say. Yeah. Cloudy or donuts duck every donuts. week. But man, Cloudy donuts. donuts is way better than Dunkin', man. I'm telling you. Y'all, oh, I mean, d- no. like I didn't say Dunkin'. I didn't say Dunkin'. I didn't say Dunkin'. I said duck. Like duck oh, did you Have you tried those? Mm, oh, so they good. good. Okay, I got to yeah. try them. Def- definitely, definitely better than Fresh Your Oh, definitely. okay. I've heard they're good. My friend told me they're good. Mm. I got to try them. Yeah, well, um, yeah, there's another place around here called Rise. Uh, yeah, yeah, I go to Rise. I haven't. Yeah, the honey. What do you think? 
I do, but I, I've always gotten their biscuit, like their sandwiches, like their breakfast sandwiches. Oh, okay. The biscuits are yeah. on point. Them cheddar biscuits, delicious. Yeah. Now, I've had like their blueberry biscuit pastry thingy, and I've had some mm -hmm. some of their stuff. I'm, it's They're all right. It's all right. It would be... It, oh, okay. it would be slick if we could do a taste test episode, but we, it wouldn't be fresh by the time it, that came Not out. Not because do, um, Cloudy Donuts, they open only on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so you can like pre-order on, pre-orders open on Wednesdays. You pre-order mm -hmm. for the day to pick up and they're open on set like Saturdays and Sundays. So. Oh, okay. Dang. Wow, exclusive. Dang, she is. You're right. She is like doing it. When they she put out all, their, when they put their flavors on on Wednesdays, I check their flavors. Like, I'm like, let me see. <laughs> Yo, that's, right there. that's like getting that's like getting a ticket for some J's standing in line. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like I, got, I got my ticket. <laughs> when you pre-order with them, there may be a line there, but if you pre-order, you can walk right in and pick up yeah. your donut. You feel all you, wait in line. you feel all special. Got your head high. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> People be looking at you like, what you think you doing? Right, right. Pre order. Right, right. Fancy. <laughs> That's so funny. Y'all, I have to try those out though. Yeah. Well, I'm um, telling you, um, I, um, I got follow them on Instagram. And they'll tell snowball. you. They'll tell you their flavors every um, every Wednesday. They'll put out the flavors. Okay. All right. Well. I'll check them out. I never heard of it. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Man, my computer is uh, acting slow. Like this. Yeah, I get down with the food places, man. Let me tell you. I like to try new spots. I like to go to mm -hmm. new spots. Mm -hmm. Always on the lookout. I love. Yeah, I went and I ate at a, um, on Father's Day, I ate at a restaurant called um, Cotton Patch. And my, uh -oh. um, my, my cousins and stuff were going going in on it like it's so bland, it's dry, it's not good. We get there and the menu looks the menu looks amazing. I'm like, you sure, <laughs> man? I got I got like a strawberry strawberry pecan salad or something, and it was fire. And everything else, everybody else's food was good. Like so, I don't know what what they were talking about, but. Uh, the food, the food is amazing. I, I tried some of my cousin's catfish, fire, mm. like mm. on point. Nice. It was like baked catfish, so good. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds real good. Yeah, super good. Um, so, what we'll be talking about today, guys? Today we are talking about unrealistic expectations. That is the topic hey. for this week. All right. Um, on, in 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 what fashion? Like uh, in life or what? In relationship. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you know, you yeah. know, I'm always, well, I'm always going to hit the angle of relationship. Yeah. Let's go. Let's let's dig in then. Yeah. Let's do it. So, when you think about unrealistic unrealistic expectations, for me, I honestly think. Aside from just the, te the technical definition, mm -hmm. for me, I think any unrealistic expectation in a relationship is something you are not willing, you you are requiring, but you're not willing to give or do. Mm -hmm. I mean, not all, but I think um, um, for me, like if someone is requesting something from me or requires something from me, but then they don't do it themselves yeah, or are, or are not consistent with it, to me, I'm like, you have unrealistic expectations. Like, mm -hmm. he, I don't think it's fair to ever ask or require something from somebody that you are yourself not willing to give. Yeah, I can agree okay. with that. That's one, that's just one piece of it. I mean, there's a there's a whole there's a plethora of them, but that's just mm -hmm. one piece of it. Right. Yeah, you don't want it to be one sided. I get it. Right. Right. You gotta you should always be able to meet at least meet. I think that's the that's the bare minimum to me is to meet somebody. Yeah. You know, They're all like meet meet in the middle. Yeah, meet them. Yeah, is th that is the the minimum someone can do? That should be the least. And then from yeah. there, like I always say, add your own flavor to it. But you should always be trying to go up, go, meet. I mean, exceed those those levels. Yeah. But, yeah. Or what do y'all think? I I think one for me is uh, 
One for me, I mean, to be expecting somebody to be like um, a storybook or a fairy tale, you know, like a, a one of those romantic novels, expecting somebody to be like the characters in those books, um, mm -hmm. you know, always say the right things, oh, you should say this, or you should say that, like, that's, yeah. that's one for me. Like, a person's going to be who they are or, you know, talk the way they are, or they, they do and stuff like that, so... Expecting them to be something mm -hmm. that they have never presented you to be, you know what I mean? Like that—that's unrealistic expectations. You know, yeah. Let me ask you something about that, though, Donald. It's interesting yeah. you say that about um, the way they may speak, and mm -hmm. when it would be an ex expect unrealistic expectation to expect them to speak other than how they do. But let me ask you: Do you think it's important, though? It's not so much what you say as how you say it. Like, do you think in a relationship, when, if one is so like just blunt and in, in how they, they come off in their delivery, when you're in a mm -hmm. relationship, do you think they should be mindful of that, though? Like, are there things yeah. that one should be mindful of? You can still get your point across, but yeah. don't, don't come at me on rah rah and, and want to be harsh yeah. or be yeah. rude. Yeah. And one, in any, I guess in any relationship, like any relationship, especially like one, like a, a love relationship, you should, um, you want to be mindful, you know, like care about how the person is receiving you or how, how they receive your message or what you say to them. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think, I think that's important. Like taking that seriously, that's important. Yeah. Cause I think people will take that as, Oh, you're trying to change me. Right, <laughs> like, right, yeah. No, I'm not trying to change you. Like, I understand. Um, I would always say this throughout. Like, and I always have this understanding. Like, we are, we all have who we are. We In our core, we are who we are, right? However, right. I do feel like when you are in relationships, that is a mirror put up against you in your face because mm -hmm. it's going to show you things that you may not necessarily see if it's just you by yourself. When you're single, you don't, you don't get these things bumped up against you to make you see things about yourself that you would not ordinarily see. So True. when people say, oh, you're trying to change me. No, right. I know who you are. I'm, I'm fine with that. But there are these things that when you get into a relationship, you need to be mindful of and you may need to evolve. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just how, like, but I'm sorry, I digress. Well, I, I, agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If it's anything good for you to help you grow, so True. yeah, I, I agree. I totally agree with that. Um, I think I'm just thinking in terms of like, just saying like, um, I guess saying things the perfect way all the time. That's uh, not everybody's um, particularly good at conveying messages a certain way. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's what I think that's what I mean by that. But yeah, um, definitely being mindful of how your message is coming across. Like, if you find that it it's always met with um, you know unfavorable reaction, like maybe you know it's something you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know expectations like that. Expectations where you expect somebody to look. Or act like somebody, like a celebrity or something like that. Uh, like physically look like somebody or, yeah, you know. Yeah, I agree with that. That's, mm -hmm. that's, so a, that's, can, a, that's a... Yeah, I agree with ahead, that. Bro. So I wrote a couple of them down that I oh. um, have... Well, I guess some of them I've experienced and others I guess I've seen in other and throughout, mm -hmm. throughout the years of people that I've known. But like... Yeah. So, um, kind of like what you were saying, Cass. Um, one of them was um, expecting your partner to have the same things in common as you. For example, we are so alike. Mm. We are so alike and compatible, but like that's not always the case because a lot of times opposites attract. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, because like a lot of people will go in and be like, "Oh my God!" Like we finish each other's sentences. Like you know what I mean? Like that that stuff where it's just like oh well 
I'm into, um, I like this kind of music and so do they, and I like this and they like that, you know, like they, they want every, every single thing that they are into or that, that is very important and passionate to them. They, a lot of be people, identical. Yeah. They expect the other person to have that in common and those things to be them to be passionate about that stuff as well. That's but, very but, unrealistic. Though. Yeah. But it's like, and then some people will, um, look for that and if they can't find it, they'll just pass up something where it's like that could be a good opportunity you know like it's like it's just it's just unrealistic and i think another thing that i wrote that was tied to that is expecting someone to be perfect the perfect one like what you were saying Cass. and then i said oh. you two two people often grow into the perfect couple like you grow into it you know what i mean it's not something that you that you start off like with me and my wife like we had a we had a lot of things that weren't in common. Like we thought different, we were raised different. Um, there were so many things, but over the years we had made sacrifices, and now it's almost like we don't think about those things in the past that we, you know, that we have worked through. You know what I mean? Or sacrifices like those the things like that used to bother us or something. We've worked through yeah. this. You know what I mean? And we've came to the point yeah. where. Um, I feel like we are, well, I know we are, we are the perfect couple, well, not perfect couple, but for each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it took time yeah. and we had to grow into it. Yes. And I think a yes. lot of, a lot of people aren't willing or they don't understand that you got to put the work in, you got to put the time in, you know what I mean? You got to make these sacrifices. Um, so mm -hmm. I think that's very unrealistic for a lot of people. So, mm. I think also, um, <clears throat> The thing to always the running, the running away, like mm -hmm. to not and stand the ground. And like yep. you said, you got to work through stuff. You can't always be, if you always leave the option open to, to bail, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you're never going to create something that's strong and solid. Right. It's, it's not right. Also, I think another unrealistic, unrealistic expectation is always assuming someone knows how you feel. Yep. Mm. Yep. Just because you may, wow. I may say, Bingo. I may say, I love you. <laughs> day and then i may never say that again to my partner for the rest of the year or every few months or whatever mm -hmm. that don't, i mean yeah. reassurance needs to be had in a relationship too i agree with that don't, sure. don't just assume somebody know what you feel because between today me telling him that to three months now when i say it again in between in them three months we could have had a hefty argument where some things were said and i mean if if all things equal you know and things change in life how do you know from today to three months now i still feel the same way about you right right you don't know that like that's why it's always that's an important piece of this of a relationship too i feel like don't expect somebody or, under, or just that they know what you feel or what you yeah. think and that's communication wow. communication right there what a perspective wow yeah i didn't think wow <laughs> because I've been in that position, let me tell you, where I figured. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm so I'm sorry, y'all. Like, place. I feel like I gotta apologize because no, no you good? Not at all. Oh. I go. I've had so many different experiences and relationships that that's why I love to have dialogue. It's like, man, I've been there where a person, where a person may not be necessarily so open to talk about their feelings, their emotions. Or mm -hmm. easily can speak like that, so yeah. they expect you to just know how they feel. And I'm just right. like that was a struggle because I'm like, if we have an argument and then I'm the one that's trying to hold us together, or I'm trying to fix it, and I'm doing this, but you, because you lack that, you're not doing that. That's gonna make that has made me feel like the person don't really love me that much, or right. something is just not connecting there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The reassurance needs to be had because there's so many we're all human there's so many instances where that disconnect can create insecurities you know anything yeah right i Just agree expect somebody to know things and i think that um like it also like pulling it back to like the love languages some people need a little bit more insurance than others you know so it's also like read the room know the person you know know the person that you're with be in try to be in tune and know what 
what um, their personality and, and the things that they need. They may need a little more yeah. of something than someone else. You know what I mean? So that's very, that is very important. And, the, and, and to me, I feel like those can be small things, but over time they become very important things. Like something as small as like saying, right. I love you. I love you. Like, you know, just take a couple, you know, take a second out, to send them a text or something like that. It's something small that you might not think because we're at, like, we're all different. Our personalities are different. So like take me and take like my wife, for instance, like something that I might do, you know, that or something that means a lot to her may not mean as much to me. You know what I mean? So that's why we are different and we have to understand, you know, what the things that mean, you know, more to the other person, you know? And that's going to happen. Yeah. That's yeah. absolutely going to happen 100% of the time in a relationship because you're bringing two different people into yeah. a, a union. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, you're not going to have everything 100% alike. Right. I mean, it's like you said, yeah. you got to grow together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's not. I think I think especially today, people do get caught up in social media and like media in general, and get and and kind of like fade into that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they start to think like that's the way they should mimic that in their life, and it's like that's not realistic. That's not. It's not expectation you should be like reaching for you know what i mean like you're that's you stay in your lane like it's not you know and yeah. half that stuff isn't real anyway it's all for show a lot of times anyway and you should be focusing it, on your own relationship like everybody's relationship is unique focus on your own what you have mm -hmm. you know what i mean your needs are different than someone else's don't try to um look at something else and emulate or compare but that bring that's cool. actually that's actually a good segue <laughs> into my um another <laughs> one that i have and that is com cool. comparing your partner okay okay comparing your partner to other men or women and expecting them to be like them so that's yeah. Yeah. that is to me i feel like is a very crucial um thing and like a lot of people have these expectations like i know i, I did this and this was a huge mistake for me was being with someone and looking at other people and saying, Tag, I wish they just like that, or I wish they were more like that, or they were more into that. We would be more compatible if we could, you know what I mean? Like all this stuff. And it's like, that is very dangerous. Comparing your partner to someone else is super dangerous. You know what I mean? Um, you got to work with what you have. You can't expect that person to be someone else. You know what I mean? If, if that's not the person for you and ends up not working out, then, you know, that's something that happens and you need to deal with. But comparing it, especially when you have something, okay, so especially if you have something that you haven't really put your all into and worked hard enough to get it to where you want it to go and you haven't put the time in, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, but you automatically expect that person to be a certain way. Like, you know, growing into each other, you never know what, you know what that person what you guys could become in five or ten years you know what i mean you don't know yeah. what type of you're always growing you know what i mean um and but both parties got to be open to do that yeah like for sure absolutely yeah. ability yeah. and transparency to be that like if you constantly got the wall up and you'll never grow organically like that right. because you're holding on to only what you always knew of yourself like yeah you, you know but if you're comparing your partner, I feel like you're kind of one foot in, one foot out. You know, you're you're outside looking at other things, other comparisons. You're, I feel like those are distractions. You're distracting yourself, and that's taking away energy that you could be putting into the person that you're with. Like, yeah, they're gonna be annoying things. There's gonna be things that that's like, okay, I gotta, I have to balance. What's the most important? Is there something that they do that's like? It's not a deal breaker, but it's just something that kind of just annoys you or you wish they were a certain way or maybe they dress a certain way or they wear something that bothers you like mature. Like, I don't know. It's just I know how that can like nag. Like, certain people can be like, why? You know, why are they? This is just so annoying. I hate when they do that. But it's like you got to look at it as like, you know, how important is that? look at the other things that they're doing. 
you know, the other things can vastly outweigh a lot of these other things. And I think that also comes with maturity because when we're younger, we like I know I was more worried about just really trivial things. You know what I mean? Trivial things. And I'm like, now I'm like, man, that's, and if, if I see a young person in a relationship and they're worried about that stuff, I just roll my eyes. Like, man, if you only knew how trivial that is. And as you grow and get older and you look at, man, that, does, that didn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Word. Um, but yeah, comparing, comparing, I would say it's very dangerous because you are l allowing yourself to be distracted and you're looking on the outside and you need to focus on the inside and what you have and you need to put all your energy on, into building you know what you, what you have you know what i mean so agreed wow um, um yeah. i think you know from that like it is it is important that you keep in mind that they are whole that your partner is a whole separate person from you a whole yep with with like you said, love language, um, mm -hmm. different needs, different, different bag baggage, express, different baggage, different yep. ways of expressing, expressing, mm -hmm. um, things like that. Um, and it's important that you try to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And that's like being in tune, knowing, um, yeah. paying attention. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know that stuff is important like that uh like the, the podcast i think was the, was the last podcast t you were talking about the, the um situation with your ex and how he didn't get you the birthday present and how the the other guy had got you something that you, you kept talking about or something he knew exactly what you wanted it's like just being in oh. tune and knowing you know paying well, attention was, let me make a correction let me insert correction he was an ex not my okay previous ex Right. Okay. This and, was and like in my, I was, I was yeah. in my twenties, like my early twenties. Right. This happened. Right. But I just wanted to make that distinction. Okay. Yeah. And like start at you on um social media. <laughs> <laughs> start start tagging you. And... However, it was a a big thing. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but you know, just Yo, being aware. <clears throat> I I actually had what you said. What you were talking about, Rex, where. Um, you're an example about expecting them to dress like or be like a certain person or yeah. comparing them. Like I actually had somebody do that to me before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, I instant, I instantly was like offended and was like, yeah, uh, done with it. Right? Because it was just like a shallow type type conversation, exactly. and it's not a convers. It's not even a conversation they had with me. It was a conversation they had with a friend of mine. Right. Yeah. Which made it worse. Yeah. It yeah but i mean you know people so, people do stuff like this you know they, they they compare they um look at things and they're like kind of like the i don't know grass is greener or just i don't know just always you know looking and it's like or thinking well wow, what if I, what if they had this like i don't know i that like for me i feel like that's something that's uh I'm very, I'm very passionate about because it was something that I went through and I didn't realize, Yeah, you know what I mean? And once yeah. I matured enough and I got enough experience and really, you know, was enlightened to like how dangerous and, and how just problematic that is, you know, was when, you know, things started to kind of fall into place. There were, of course, there were other things in the relationship that we, you know, had to work on, but that was one thing. That I felt like I had to let that go. You know what I mean? Because that's Ooh, you can't yeah. hold, you can't hold on to that. You're you're you know what I mean? You got to be all in. You know what I mean? Your energy yeah. has got to be all about building that solid foundation with that 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 person. You know what I mean? Don't not looking mm -hmm. out, not you know. So um, yeah, you know. I know for yep, me that's... in relationship. Go ahead, Don. Go ahead, Cass. No, I'm saying that's how other outside influences are able to infiltrate. Yeah. And... Yep. Split things up. Distractions. Yeah. It's like distractions, yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead, T. <clears throat> when it comes to, like, that type of stuff, I don't ever expect, speaking of expectations, I don't ever expect my partner to be something they're not. Like, right. I haven't noticed that. Because, like, as you was talking about that, I literally went through every past relationship. I was like, do I do that? Do I expect that? Like, I don't get with them. And then in the hopes that mm -hmm. they're going to 
like for instance, you mentioned dressing, like the way they dress. Yeah. If I'm kicking it with you prior to us getting into a relationship and then I see how you dress, if I have a problem with the way you dress, I'm not going to enter a relationship. Right. Exactly. So, right. Like right. I'm not even going to go there because it's like, that's going to be a waste of time. Right. So <laughs> if I see you and I'm like, oh, I, if I dig you, I dig you. So we get into a relationship. You'll never hear me say, yo, ew. Like, why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing those crops? I want to say anything. It'll be, (laughs) if anything, it'll be like, how do I put it? It's it's adding to yourself. Like, if I know, for instance, like I mentioned, the lack of the emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. I've Mm -hmm. experienced that in a relationship. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know that. Like, I, I mean, you don't. I don't think you ever really know something like that when you, upon a getting with somebody, you don't know how deep it is until yeah. you have time with them. But right? that's all. It's also part of maturity, what you're talking right. about. So it's like if they're not, if they're staying stunted at a certain level and they're not maturing, like that's just something that you have to do in a relationship. Dressing is just a preference. It's not right. It's your style. It's your whatever. That's you know. So right. Yeah, dressing mm-hmm. to me. It's like it's, yeah. it's like I said. I won't even enter. There's there's a there are level things where I'm gonna notice upon kicking it with you yeah. before we even get into the relationship. So if there are things that are on that list that I like that don't meet per se, like yeah. I'm not even gonna get no relationship. like what <laughs> like what like hygiene Ooh. hygiene definitely. Oh. Like if I, I'm, that's a- anybody who knows me knows, I man I will take like two showers a day. Like. I just keep myself up yeah. when it comes yeah. to stuff like that. I like to smell good. I like to be straight. If I'm with you and you know, with a guy and it's like, yo, like we're, <laughs> like, you're not really, if you don't take a keen interest in your hygiene, I'm going to have a problem with that. I feel like that right. should just be a given, but. Well, sure, but Rex, not everybody is raised the same way. <laughs> but I mean, grown, yes, sir. Uh, grown adults. Come like, on. You're, but Come yeah, now. you're you, right. You know, you know, there's people who have yeah. that issue, and they're grown people. Yeah. They may yeah. have smelly feet, like they may not keep their feet properly together, like wash. Oh, and, I mean, like that is a thing. Like I, that is one thing I did experience I, with somebody, and I was like, look, this is something you got to get together, you know. And I help them along. And see, I'm not. I don't hesitate to help people along. Well, wait, wait, wait. so you actually got. Into a relationship with someone that needed help with that stuff? Not no, not a whole, but like the smelly feet thing. Yeah, they just they were like they, they're mm. wild. They worked and they were in boots the majority okay. of the day. Got you. Got and it was like when um, we got to the point of being and spending more time where I'm like literally around you when you taking when you taking your shoes off. I got I caught I caught wind of that pun intended, <laughs> and then it was like it was like okay socks socks were standing up by themselves when you <laughs> <laughs> well it was like let's work on that yeah he didn't have to take the work on that so that's cool you yeah. know what I'm saying like I said not everybody has those tools or those you know not raised the same way everybody do yeah. things differently yeah I'm a hygiene yeah. pr- I'm a just a you know like I. I just I also look at it as like not only because for myself I just want to be clean and you know smell good, but I think about other people around me. I feel like it's I personally feel like it's disrespectful if I go around stinking and mm-hmm. I'm all around other people and they can smell me. I feel like that's just rude and disrespectful to other people because they shouldn't have to experience. You know what I mean? Something like that. Yeah, so that's just. Well, how also, I think, like you when know. you get in a relationship, you're more intimate, so you yeah. can come and have. Yeah. Have way with it nah, when you can't. that close to somebody and in those type of intimate situations. <laughs> can't like you gotta like unless a female like female we know females ladies we know like there's times you know you can have mm-hmm. everything not going on right down there but it may not be due to you you know purposefully due to you or something that you did like it just naturally sometimes things happen sometimes we go through things mm-hmm. yeah. but as long mm-hmm. as you on point with getting it taken care of yeah boom. Mm-hmm. But if it's like an ongoing thing, like consistent, there's an issue. There's an issue. Like <laughs> you know, you're not really staying up to par with your hygiene. Right, I agree. Yeah. And not every guy. I don't know about y'all, but guys don't. I don't. I've not had this experience. I've heard about this experience, but guys don't always. 
I, maybe not every, any, it could be with females too. Like you have skid marks. Like if you got skid marks, like, like if a guy has skid, skid marks, he don't know how to wipe properly. And you can't be in bed. Oof. I don't have an issue with you being in bed. Not a, no, not, uh, no, not as an adult. That's never been. No. Like, I have, <laughs> so you've, no you've, that's been, that's better, something that has came up for you. Mat. No, no, no. I said, mat, I've huh? not experienced that. Oh, you've heard. I've heard. Okay. Like, yeah, no, yeah. I've never experienced that. that Sounds like somebody need a man pun. <laughs> <laughs> so see basically what you're saying is we can't turn our underwear inside out and wear them again Heck no <laughs> somebody who's doing that i'm running for the board where did that even I'm come from running. i hope that i hope that didn't come from real life situations i hope that's just a joke oh. like Cause Gosh. why? I don't know. That is crazy. I'm sure. I'm sure poor people, people who are poor, have done that or yeah. just walked right know, the same but way. If you have a home, you know, like come on, you, that's that's different. Like you can't uh, be yeah. in a relationship and just not keep. That's in. like a castaway situation, like Tom, <laughs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> Even like, Tom <laughs> was washing his stuff in the ocean. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Right. It was. You're right. He was keeping yeah. it together. Yeah. Get a sink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's true. true. Um. So let's see. I put. Oh, I have one more. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, also, an unreal, ex realistic expectation. I feel like too is the presence in the relationship. Like, oh, to yeah. me, there's a fun side. Like, I look at relationships like that. You have you have all the fun things you do, and then you have the taking care of business aspect of a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A person could be great at the fun part. They may not be so great as tending to the business of the relationship. Tending to the business meaning conflict resolution, communication, mm -hmm. video, all of that, and no, and then learning how to navigate the relationship. Mm -hmm. I think it's unrealistic to think it's just enough to show up. There's some people that really do think, yeah. I'm here every day. I'm here every day. Or I'm loyal. I'm loyal. I'm here. I'm not with anybody else. But there's you know, it's more than that, you know? It's, right. Yeah. But there are really people yeah. who really think that it just it's enough that my presence is here. Yeah. Right. And that is yeah. not enough. I can see that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. They. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're just. Um, and then in the meantime, with all of like, that, like, they're expecting you to show up like one thousand percent. But then all you have to offer yeah. me, you know, like, telling me is your husband. That like in, in the past relationship, they might not have done that, and then they thinking like, "Well, I'm at least I'm doing this, so you know, what you know, what's the problem? You know, I'm right. here. You know, it's like." Where in the last relationship they weren't, or they were always like out, yeah, messing so th around or whatever. That's a and good. They think they're doing like the best because they're there. And that's, that's, a, that's yeah. Like, that's not, that, that's yeah. That's a good point and a good perspective to look at. They probably could be looking at it as like, I've changed. You know, I've done what I need to mm -hmm. do. You know what I mean? Look right, at me now. Right, you know, right. and but like, it's you got some more to do. Yeah, you got more things to work on. Yeah. It's true. I mean, relationships, man. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of it's different constant. areas. It's constant. It's yeah. a it's an ever evolving situation. It's a constant thing. Like, like you could be with somebody for 60, 70, forever. Like until truly death do you think of it. Death do you part. Like yes. the person you are today is not the person you want to be in ten years. The person you are today is the person you weren't ten years ago. It's like. You're going. It's ever evolving, so you gotta go and with the flow. It's like Bruce Lee said, "Be like water, be like water." Oh. Like it's just oh. you yeah. gotta learn how to do that. Yeah, you can't ever sit there and say, "This is how I am," and expect everything is going to be all groovy. It's not going to happen. Yeah, and you go. I used to say shit like that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Um, but you go through seasons in life, you know, mm -hmm. like. Yeah, especially like if you have kids, you know what I mean? Um, financial situations come up, you know, there's always going to be something 
new coming up in life uh illness you know what if you get some type of illness or something that's something that you guys got and you go through it together because you're with that person you know what i mean that could be a, t a struggle a tough thing that you guys got to both work on so there's so many things in life unexpected things um and it's just yeah you have to you're growing you know as you go through these things you're growing you know what i mean you're hitting different seasons and you're like okay I'm in a new chapter in my life. Um, and with a new chapter comes new responsibilities, comes new, um, you know what I mean? Um, roadblocks or just things that you might need to change. You know what I mean? That you're, mm -hmm. you got to figure out, well, you know, how, how am I going to adapt? You know, how am I going to change? And, right. you, and when you're in a relationship, you two are, you're doing it together as one. So you both are going to, and it's like, if it was just you going through life and you're single and you're hitting all this stuff, okay. You really, the only person that you have to, like, it's just you and yourself, basically. You know what I mean? That's really, all it. But when you bring, when you have someone else with you and you're in a committed relationship, you know what I mean? Like we said, there's two personalities on this trip together, hitting all these bumps and ups and downs, you know what I mean? So it's two people. It's like, there's someone else there. So it's just more work because y'all got to kind of be, you know, you got to come to some type of common ground on certain things, you know, it's more effort. You got to put into it. It's mm -hmm. just how it is. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and if you're you unwilling to bend, right. Yeah. Nah. yeah. You know what happens when things can't bend. It's like when people are unwilling to bend and flow, you're making it harder. Right. Exactly. For the relationship, like, oh my gosh, it, it, it creates drama, it creates unpleasantness, and mm -hmm. just struggle, mm -hmm. just, just struggle all the time. It's yeah. Like, because yeah. both people should have a, a mutual interest in one another in that relationship. So they're, they're not going into it to hurt you, harm you, or create issues. You, you're always trying to figure out and navigate the, the meaning of the minds to, you know, to be able to make this thing work mm -hmm. collectively. Right. That should be the goal. It should never be like you question someone's intentions because they're not looking to hurt you or do anything right. wrong. It's like, look, I'm just trying to figure this out mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. We're two different people yeah. on a meet in the middle. And it can happen. Oh. Like I yeah. hear people say, well, we're just too different. No, we're going to be different. We have it's, a lot of similarities. That's expected. <laughs> you know, that's right, like it that's, is. Yeah. That's, I don't, I won't, that's I don't standard. Want anybody like me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, being different is just standard. And, like, it's right. like, you know, it's almost like, even, like, if you have, like, you know, teams, sports teams, everybody has to work together. You know what I mean? Y'all got to work together to, you know, to win championships, to win games. Um, a common goal. A common goal. You know, teamwork. You know what I mean? Like, you know, um, even you have, like, groups. You have, like, um, music groups that split up and stuff because they... It's a per it's a lot of personalities, you know, and they split up because something happened, or it's over like money, or it's over all this stuff. Like certain mm -hmm. things came, got in the way, and then some beef came up or something, and you know what I mean. So it's like the more you are willing to um, make sacrifices, comp the more you just you just yeah. compromise, and you're open to just growing and learning. Um, the easier it will be. It's just like, you know, like That's nobody wants to be dragging somebody along. Like who wants to, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be, right. <laughs> you know, it's just so, um, yeah. But know. then that'll also make the person who's dragging the other along feel like, oh, I'm just in this by myself. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. I'm exactly. just in this by myself. Like yeah. I need a partner. Like where's my partner? Right. Ooh. And, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, but that's, um, that's... What was your... You had another one on the list. What you got? Oh, I think mine was actually, uh, it, it was basically what we just talked about. Uh, there were two of them. One was, like, um, expecting not to make compromises, uh, expecting to not be challenged, not open to growing and evolving, growing pains. Basically what we just talked about, you know what I mean? Right, um, right. But, um... That's not, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, it's a team. It's a teamwork. It's a. Uh, that's how you have to. You got to have that mindset of. Yeah. We, we are doing this together. 
Um, I know it's it, it could be easy to get in your own little... You can get frustrated and you get in your own head and you're like, it's just me. It's just me against everybody else and that I'm constantly... You know what I mean? It's, it's easy to slip into that thinking, but you got to pull Whoa. yourself out and remind yourself that, you know, no. Like, when I'm hurting, that person's hurting. When they're hurting, I'm hurting. You know, like, mm -hmm. we, we're, you know... We affect each other, you know. Um, That's true. You know That's what true. also is great, too? I think the best teams are those are people we, we were talking about, like, everybody's different. Like, both people are going to be different. But the best teams are when you have different people with different ideas. They think mm -hmm. differently, whatever, coming together. Mm -hmm. so everybody has their thing. Yeah. You come together. Mm -hmm. You may be good at this. I'm good at that. Mm -hmm. good at whatever you know everybody's different but then you come together mm -hmm. and then you bring your own flavor to it that yeah. makes them even yeah. better so like even then you can incorporate that in your household with your partner it's like hey if you better at cleaning you clean i'll cook right you know, whatever however this is the key part is you you have to be doing something you can't just be like all right i'm gonna fall back and just let that person do everything or hmm. do whatever right so right like, right, right. Gonna, I gotta be the one to cook too. I gotta be the one to clean. Too. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> like, right. Well, I mean, team, there's gonna it's be a it's a team. Yeah, and there's gonna be things that you're gonna have to do that you don't like to do, but you just gotta do them because it's part of life. It's you know what I mean. And but like yeah, but that's I think that also kind of comes into where they say like opposites attract because it's like you know you can be have a strength in one area. And then the other person's weak in that area, but they're strong in the area where you're weak. So mm -hmm. you're able to, you know, you're able to uh, act out you, like in your in your weakness, they make you strong. You know what I mean? And you and like they're able to like if you're too far off of one, if you have a certain type of personality, thinking, or whatever, and you kind of you 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 go too far off to one side, you know, off the, off the spectrum. They could be, like, say you're more of like a, like, okay, I just, I guess I'll just use me and my wife, for example. I'm more of like a anxious person, someone who's got a lot of ideas. I'm very impatient. I get, it, when when I get, like, excited about something, I'm very expressive uh -huh. about it. You know, I want to, like, go tell people. I want to, I want to get it done. You know what I mean? My, now my right. wife is, like, a very laid back, you know, like, I'm an extrovert and she's an introvert, but, like, She's more of like a, you know, laid back. Like when when we're when when we're having a conversation, she doesn't just immediately um, respond. It takes her time to process what she needs to say. Me, I'm right. It, while you're talking, I'm my mind is running. I'm already ready to say. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. But like so, with her being more laid back and more like just, um, she's not just so knee jerk reaction. She thinks about things. You know what I mean? Which is good. You know, it's good to think about things. So I feel like with me being, you know, more impatient and this and that, she can kind of reel me in, you know, pull me in in areas where I just kind of go, you know, too far off on this side. And then if she's a little t too laid back on her side, you know what I mean? Um, then I feel like I can put a little more pep in her step, you know what I mean? And kind of mm -hmm. just get, you know, so i think that's balance yeah balance exactly yep. i think it helps us to balance and kind of meet in the middle and you know just influence each other um you know but so definitely for sure yeah um being being as though uh well being married and stuff like you find that um you find that it's compromises are um, met more um, easily, being as though you've been together so long now. Or do you do you find things like do you find any of them ch any time that are challenging to come to an understanding about something? Like there's some you just it's put on a back burner and they kind of like just sitting there that hadn't been addressed. I would. Or do you feel like? I think it's a lot easier. I think it's a lot easier now. Um, mm -hmm. And also because, like, we've been through so much. You know what I mean? And there's mm -hmm. so many things that I've realized that I fought for a long time about. And I wasn't, didn't want to make those compromises. But then, 
you know, I've realized that it's just like, you know, just fighting against them wasn't getting me anywhere. You know, it was making things harder. Yeah. You know, so I've realized yeah. that, you know, um, and just realizing the um, being able to see the. Um, uh, how I say it, the, um, the importance, uh, think of the word, um, just being able to see like that. I don't know. I, yeah. It's, it's opportunity, the long run, like think how things will pan out. Yeah. It's like, you know? um, I guess it's just, it's, it, you know, it just wasn't, those things weren't, weren't really, um, I don't know. They just don't. It's 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 interesting because, like, I I've actually forgot about a lot of things that I didn't want to compromise on that probably really annoyed me in the past. Mm -hmm. Like if I mm -hmm. could like like if, like the Scrooge movie, you know, he like took him through his past and he could see stuff. If if I was actually like taken through my past, there's a lot of stuff that I probably forgot about that I was like would get so annoyed. You probably you probably would cringe over it if you saw it now. Yeah. I mean, even like, I mean, yeah. I can think of little stuff like movies, like, you know, like certain movies that my wife would watch in the, even before we got married, just like, I'm like sitting there just like critiquing the movie and I'm like, why, why are you on? You know what I mean? Like, just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like we're sitting, but, do it. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, like romantic comedies, I've never really been too much into rom romantic comedies like that, but like now it's like, I appreciate that. I love to sit down with my wife and watch a romantic comedy. Like, I, I, I even if it's something that, like, would have really, I would have been critical of in the past, for me now, I can laugh about it. You know, I could see those things. Yeah. I can point them out, but I can laugh about them. It doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? And, like, we right. have, like, it's funny because we have this one movie that's kind of like, it's like our movie um, because she used to have the DVD and we used to watch it, like, back in the day. And then, I don't know. It's the movie um, Kate and Leopold. You know that movie? Oh, yeah. That's oh. Movie. yeah. So that's like, mm -hmm. we joke around like that's our movie. There's certain scenes that we, we, we joke about that we recite and stuff. So like, mm -hmm. we're like, oh, we haven't seen Kate and Leopold in a while because we own it, you know, whatever physical copy. But like, you know, so like, you know, it's just like, but that's a movie like in the past, I'd have been like, I don't want to watch this. Like, it's just, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But now it's like, you know, now it's something that's special, you know, something that we can watch and we can reminisce on and we can we can joke and we can you know what i mean so as you mature mm -hmm. it's almost like when you get older you start to laugh at things in the past that really bothered you you know mm -hmm. you stop mm -hmm. caring about certain things you're older you're like man whatever you know like so yeah you know it's it's that it's the compromises it's like it's kind of just turned into whatever you know like it does right. you know. good to have a partner and be able to create those type of experiences together. Like, oh, this is our movie. This yeah. is our song. Or, you know, the, the, the insiders that you have between each other. That's, that's like a wonderful piece of a relationship. Yeah, yeah it and is. That it gets is. built, like, it's best when you've spent so much time together. And you've been yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's like it happened organically. It wasn't like a movie we just picked. It was just it just became something organically over time that we're just like, oh, this is our movie, you know, this and that. And um, but yeah, I mean, um, but like I said, w like that the one thing that I picked out is like um, growing into the perfect couple over time. You know, it takes yeah. time. Yeah, you put the time like in. That. Yeah, you, you grow into it. You know, and I think people, I think if people could see the future and see what they could have maybe they would yeah who knows they would change but you know um i don't know it's that's it's that's not how it is you know you have to just you got to put the work in it's just like i guess it's just like anything in life putting the work in putting the time right. in you know i mean that is, yeah. you have to invest you have to truly invest. invest anything that you want to be a success it Investment. Just, it's, it's exactly yeah and the longer you do that like when you I don't even go into like if I'm gonna be in I don't even go into a relationship thinking this is gonna end. Like I don't even have that mentality. For what? Because otherwise we don't even have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Like and then when you spend Like yeah, something wrong with somebody who would do that. Yeah. Yeah, like people but but there are people yeah. that do that. It's like Will Smith says like Will was like him and Jada don't even have divorce isn't even an option in them. Well, you're setting yourself up for failure. Like that's like going into a job and saying, Well, I don't see I'm myself. I don't it. see, I, or yeah, or I don't see myself staying here. I mean, you can go into jobs and say this is temporary because I'm trying to build up my resume. 
But mm-hmm. if you have that expectation, then that's what you're going to get. You know what I mean? But if you go into a certain place and you're like, okay, this is a company I could see myself staying with for a long time. And I'm going to put my all in. I don't see myself in the anytime soon. You know, so it's a lot of like, it's like the in your mind, it's like you have to be able to see it. You know, you have to be able to see it. You can't allow those, you know, thoughts of, you know, not looking at it as something that you're, you know, going to stick with. Fully invested, yeah. Yeah. You wanna, if you notice it's somebody you're going to be with, yeah. immediately eliminate the idea of leaving. Yeah. Like, because yeah. number one, that does, that does, that does, number one, create you to have behaviors because if you want to keep something, you'll keep it. Mm-hmm. If you don't, like, l- let's take that with anything. Like, if we, we can go buy anything, we can buy something or have something, and we'd be like, hmm, I don't really care about this. You'll throw it around, you'll toss it. Mm-hmm. You may not treat it with care right. because you don't care mm-hmm. if whatever happens to it. Ex- but if you have uh, someone and you like, yo, I really dig this person, I don't ever want to be without this person. Mm-hmm. Your behaviors are going to exemplify that. You're going to cherish, right? You're going to cherish and take take care of things. So the idea of leaving don't even have to be a situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you want to keep the person. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So. What <laughs> <laughs> y'all laughing at? You laughing at what you know we laughing at. <laughs> Crystal, Crystal putting something in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that was all I had for the, you know the whole yeah. unrealistic expectations. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is. They kill. It's they a, kill a relationship. Bottom line. Mm, 